Hey guys, Scott with Brian here. Uh, figured today let's do a little master class on uh, the elbow offense. One of my favorite offenses, one of the most simple, basic uh, continuity offenses you can run really at any age level. level excuse me. So uh, first of all, your basic setup is going to be bigs at the elbows, wings in the corners, spots all obviously though interchangeable, you know, bigs can change, wings can be at any spot. You can also occasionally play around with putting, you know, guards at the elbows or at least one guard at an elbow uh, and have a couple different wrinkles uh, out of that. Uh, so one quick note uh, as far as terminology, I consider elbow, uh, the ball is going to usually start up top in the middle of the court. Uh, some people, you know, will call this horns, which is fine because it's similar to that, that alignment. But horns to me is going to be uh, playing out of, you know, pick and roll sets right from here. So going right into, you know, basic horns where big rolls, other big pops or horns chest where you dribble off the four and he can flare off the five and so on and so forth. So that's going to be horns. Uh, elbow to me is going to be you know, more the continuity uh, motion stuff off of starting the ball up top again and hitting uh, a big at the elbow. So the difference between elbow and push or C or the corner set from Rick Adelman uh, is going to be the ball starting almost free throw line extended uh, right here. So just a couple different ways to get into it. You know, you can come obviously right down the middle of the court or you can really bring it down, you know, on the sideline. Uh, even with the big basically and then run this push set right here which is going to have similar options out of it uh, and was really popularized by uh, Rick Carlisle with the Mavericks, Jason Kidd uh, with uh, Milwaukee. Uh, a lot of good things you can do out of that as well. So let's start out in the elbow set ball up top. So let's say we hit five uh, and then cut strong side. So we call this right away this is split game. Okay, going basically to play games with, uh, you know, guard to guard in the corner. Okay, split game. So first wrinkle or read out of this, we could tight curl it. So what is a tight curl? Tight curl is right off the screen to the basket, looking for that layup. Okay, so if three right here, tight curls off of one, gets the layup. If he doesn't get it off the tight curl, what's going to happen? Five then is going to go right into playing games with one, two-man games. So can either be dribble handoff then with the one, it could be throw it to him and then go set a side pick and roll for one, okay? And then, you, you know, most coaches I think here would probably have three, if he doesn't get it at the rim, end up popping back to the corner, but, you know, some teams will certainly also have him continue his cutout and have to lift up a little bit. So that's the tight curl option. What if I said, Long curl. Well, long curl is going to be if instead of curling to the basket, now the three man is going to come all the way up right into the dribble handoff off of five. So instead of, again, tight curling it to the basket, this time he's going to come all the way, basically use the screen all the way off, come off of five use the handoff himself potentially, if five chooses to give it to three, if it's denied uh, or they can't hand it off for some reason, then what do you have? You can always go right back into the same thing. Five can play two man game with the one. Now continue your dribble onto the corner and play games with him there. You know, back cut if it's overplayed, pitch it to him, so on and so forth. Uh, what do you do here with the four? Well, it depends on who you ask. A couple teams have some different options. Uh, I've seen some teams do it where you know, five will do the dribble handoff, say with three right here, uh, and then four will clean it up with basically high pick and roll or high pick and pop maybe for the four as the five man dives, gets out of there. So that's one thing you could do um, with this four man here. I've also seen some teams, uh, a lot of teams, sorry, that was a terrible four. <laughs> uh, a lot of teams time it up where at the same time as, say, this dribble handoff, okay, as soon as this dribble handoff makes contact, say, with three here, you want to time it up where four goes to wide pin the opposite corner. So that's always an option if three gets it. You know, he can get a quick look for two right off of this. But most importantly, it's really to try to keep these defenders occupied, uh, you know, on the weak side. Uh, 
we don't want this defender, Ford's defender, being able to sit right here, two's defender being able to sit right here. We want them to be worried about what's going on out here, have to drift out, get outside the paint so that, you know, three can potentially turn the corner and get a layup uh, right off of that. So that's, again, the long curl option. So what else can we do? 10 million different things, obviously, out of the elbow, and that's why you know, it can be such an effective offense, and it's such a read and react offense. So a whole bunch of, you know, just Denver's offense through Jokic is, is stuff like this, um, usually out of the Adelman uh, corner stuff. Uh, you know, Draymond plays out of this a lot, obviously. Um, Stan Van Gundy used to run a ton of this stuff. Um, so let's put it, let's say we put it in push now, right? Again, not a huge difference, but um, let's just say one... Brought it down to the wing. A big option that you see a lot out of push is uh, the back pick or the reverse pick uh, up screen. You know, a few different names for it. But that is corner guy now stepping up and setting a rip screen for the guard. So what do we have out of that? Well, we might get uh, first just coming off it, right? You know, if they mess up on this screen, sometimes you have right away one popping behind for that three, you know, right off a of back pick. Uh, another thing I really like is, you know, you tell three, you set a good screen, there's a good chance you're getting a shot yourself. So three's incentive is to really, you know, hit one's man with a really good back screen right here. And if he does that, a lot of times that's going to cause confusion. Are we, are we switching the back pick or, you know, are we fighting through? And that's going to sometimes free up three to then fly off it himself and get you know, this dribble handoff quickly, maybe for a three, or maybe be able to turn the corner. So uh, you set a good screen, you increase your odds of getting a good shot uh, dramatically. So that's the basic uh, back pick out of that. Back pick is also used a lot against teams that, you know, if you notice that they're switching uh, the split action, as five has it now here, you can have three step up to set a back pick and instead slip it right to the basket. So again, you might have that back door right away. And if you don't, what does it turn into? Again, two man game uh, with the one, which is pitch it to him, then go sprint into a side pick and roll or dribble handoff right to him. Again, a lot of different reads uh, and options you can go to out of that. Let's go back to uh, basic elbow. All right, another option. This is something the uh, the Warriors run a lot. So let's say we cut strong side, uh, but instead go right into a weak pin down. So we could have this five looking like he's gonna look to the strong corner, but instead have this be a decoy, instead trying to get three, you know, a quick shot, maybe a quick three, or a quick curl jumper uh, off of that action. So you can always go screen away. You can also do it. Oops. Well, one hit five. Same cut right here. Keep the defense occupied. Again, you never want guys just standing. So even if it's just fluff, even if it's just a decoy, go into that split game over here. We can call it dribble weak. This is an uh, action. Cavs would run a lot, um, you know, LeBron would be in this action sometimes, so dribble weak would be, again, weak side pin down, but this time five man is going to be dribbling towards it, right, and try to time the dribble handoff right here for the three man. So what's going to happen, four is going to pop behind, five is going to roll hard to the basket, and your options are, five, as three comes off this handoff, five might be rolling hard for a lob, Four might be wide open uh, in the corner or popping for the three. I'll show you a little little trick here. A lot of a lot of trickery in games you can even play out of this. Uh, the Miami Heat, Eric Spolstra, um, has done a great job over time uh, playing games with the bigs. So what I mean by that is a lot of times they'll start uh, their elbow offense kind of with the bigs screening for each other right so you can have the bigs kind of just down here and it's almost again it's just a reaction so like when they had Bosch for example if you have like a shooting big a lot of times you know the five would just go and screen for him 
Uh, and Bosch, you know, might be able to pop right here for a jumper, right? Uh, if they mess up this simple screen, might be able to curl it all the way and get a layup out of it. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different things you could do, you know. Obviously, you know, you play games out of it. The main goal is also just free up your bigs to be able to get this catch right here pretty easily, right? And then, obviously, you know, you're training basketball players. If you come off the screen again and you're unguarded or the defense played this the wrong way or both guys jumped out with four, you might have the dump-off pass to five at the basket, right? You might have, again, the turn and face jumper right away. So just an easy way to get, you know, an easy two points potentially out of this action by having the bigs uh, play games with each other um, once they eventually get to the elbow. Uh, another thing you could obviously run out of this is flex. So I've seen... Uh, some teams like to do it middle cut equals flex, or, you know, you can go opposite, around the opposite big, uh, but then end up coming back to the strong side uh, and set the flex screen for the corner guy. Uh, and then, obviously, you're going to want to time that up, so four makes that pass uh, to the opposite big at the same time as the flex screen, so that five would be the one making the pass. And then four then is going to continue on, clean up, screen the screener action on the one. Five then is going to hit the one coming off. And that's when it's just going to continue on that three now is setting the flex for two. And then five here is going to pin down on one. And you can turn it over as many times as you want uh, with flex action being very common, obviously, as a, as a movement set continuity offense. Good thing you can always do just to get the defense moving a little bit. You can also go uh, double away, right? So I showed a lot of times cutting strong side, going to split with a strong corner. You could also cut opposite where you hit and go screen away which here you you know again you can read it you can play like your strong side games you always have the option of tight curling it or long curling it coming up uh, what you see a lot sometimes is if you hit here make it a double away right one's going to cut screen first for two four is going to come right behind and we can either try to hit two right off kind of this stagger right here or uh, five can then continue on to a dribble handoff, make it like a triple screen where two is going to come all the way up off of one, four, and five. One obviously is going to have to kind of pop behind. Four is probably going to space to the corner. Five would have to be a hard, hard roll man uh, there. I obviously could probably go for another hour uh, or so, but I'll show you one more wrinkle uh, we can do out of um, the push look which again is just the ball free throw line extended instead so let's say uh, we hit five right here okay uh, one thing you could always do if you have bigs that can handle the ball you can go again always keep the defense occupied go into the split game keep these defenders moving okay but you can then come and have four set him a low tight elbow pick and roll this was something josh smith and al horford would do all the time uh, Dwight would be involved in this with like Turgaloo uh, in Orlando a lot. So, you know, normally, okay, yeah, it'd probably be the four handling and the five setting, but obviously, you know, bigs are pretty interchangeable uh, these days. So, again, you know, you can just try to get this tight elbow pick and roll. You might have that lob right away to the five, they would get a lot, or you might have, if they mess up the coverage, LeBron would be in this action a lot, you know, turning the corner all the way to get to the basket. Out of the push set also, you could always do push drop, which again, just very basic, hit four at the elbow, and let's say, now let's sneak five in here at the opposite block, so as soon as four catches it, five is going to duck in hard to the basket, you try to get him a quick, deep post touch with this block isolated, cleared out try to let them really go to work deep inside. So that's a push, that's corner, same thing, or C, Rick Adelman, 
same thing, and the elbow series. Make sure you're following Scout with Brian on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Click that subscribe button. Everywhere you can find uh, Scout with Brian podcast, you'll find the best basketball content, best analysis. And if you go to Patreon, patreon.com slash Scout with Brian, you get 15 super in-depth bonus videos that all coaches would love, uh, private weekly chats, rankings, extra plays, extra drills, ton more videos like this coming soon for as low as $2 a month. Really appreciate your guys' support, helping keeping me going, and uh, thanks for watching.